participants. He believes a strategy of backing up business initiatives with strong policy is going to work like one does. CNBC TV 18's Deepthi Patini and Arundhati Ramanan report Naidu hopes to mobilize huge investments, and that's all going to be between the 10th and 12th of January when the state hosts its investment summit. Vishakapatnam is gearing up to play host to 1,000 delegates representing various industry sectors from 33 countries. And with D-Day, that's the 10th of January, around the corner, work around Andhra Pradesh's Investment Summit 2016 has hit fever pitch. Conversation at the three-day summit is expected to traverse multiple topics, from Sunrise AP Vision 2029 to multilateralism versus regionalism, the future of global trade, to make in India, to global financial architecture, to industry and climate change. In all this, the state machinery wants to showcase its strengths as an investment destination from proactive policies to 24 into 7 power supply, to a large pool of vacant land, to strong human resources, to its number two ranking when it comes to ease of doing business, to a conducive startup environment. The organizers are confident the state will attract investment in areas like pharma, food processing, tourism and manufacturing. What is going to help us, we need to take care of ourselves. So, and, uh, and it's time for us to stop depending on someone else and, you know, we, we build ourselves and we are quite confident. It might be a, a few more years, but uh, I think that spirit is very strong among uh, the public and the entrepreneurs. You have no idea how excited I am, you know, I mean, it's like we will definitely, I think, uh, score a big, uh, big one with this. Andhra Pradesh has its work cut out for it. The biggest hurdle it will face, experts say, will be poor infrastructure, the absence of an independent capital city and the state's precarious financial situation. So unless it can convince investors that it has a plan to set these right and is serious about working the plan, the 200 MOUs it hopes to sign during the summit may not go beyond good intentions. With Deepti Bathini in Hyderabad, in Mumbai, Arundhati Ramanan. So that's 